Hey, you. What you gonna do? It me, Rixian. Uh, yeah. Fuck, I really need to figure out an intro someday. Someday! But until then, I'm just gonna be sad because I don't have an intro. This is Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. And because we're playing Enveril, which is super sad all the time and like, oh, so moody. Um, let's play something happy. At least I hope this is happy, because all the other games from Nom Nom Nami have been happy. I like happy. We're gonna go for happy. I really like. This is all good. It's all good. Start game. In a peaceful town of magic users, there is a shop that only sells ordinary, non magical candies. Atelier Sweets, oh, well that's a reference already. The owner is known by, go away AVG, I hope you can't see that. The owner is known as the Candy Alchemist, a firm believer in science as the superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnific- 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 Magnificent? There we go. Magnificent. Why is that so difficult? Magnificent candies in order to prove her case. But a magical surprise waits in her basement workshop. Hmm? What's this thing? Says the candy alchemist. Gotta get my... Gotta get my voice higher again because it's gonna be all girls again, isn't it? Mm. Taking a swig of tea. I got this. I got this. Just become. Become the girl. Oh god. <laughs> Good morning. How are you today? What the hell? Uh, fine. I am also fine. Pastille, can you come down here? Like, now? Um, I would like it if you told me your name. I would tell you mine, but I was not given one. Syrup. Pastille, hurry up. You are Syrup. It is very nice to meet you. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, that's not happening. Pastille, get down here already. You are naked. Syrup, it is very important that we get along. You stay away from me. I want you out of my lab right now. What is it you are holding? Uh, what does it look like? It's candy. You are eating it? Yep, that's the whole point of candy, to get eaten. I see, then please eat more. <laughs> <coughs> oh god. <coughs> I see, then please eat me. What? No, <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> but you have to. It is my purpose as candy. Uh, um. <laughs> In that case, hmm. even if you're human shaped and alive, you do look pretty delicious. Did you need me for something, Sai? No, I changed my mind. Go back upstairs. Oh, we have a guest. Made of candy? I'm not sharing, so don't even ask. Uh, okay. I'll take it back to work then. Good. Alright, candy girl. Time to see what you're made of. Your ins- Oh, God. <laughs> your insides are pretty realistic, though it doesn't seem like your organs actually function. You're 100% magic powered, aren't you? I do not know the details of my biology. Hmm, does it hurt when I pull things out like this? No, I was not designed to feel pain. Do you know where the parts from your body came from? Because most of this candy looks like mine, except covered in gross magic. Hey, who made you anyway? That is a secret. Sorry to intrude, I bought you two some drinks. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> candy biopsy, trying to figure out which part I want to eat first. How could you sigh? You can't just eat someone. She told me to. So if I told you to eat meat, would... Mmm. 
That's different. No, it's not. Eat her anyway. Listen, Pastel, I got this walking amal amalgam of deliciousness all laid out literally asking me to eat it, so I'm going to eat it. Don't matter what she's made of. I can't believe you just eat a person. Don't you have a heart? Do you want me to answer that? Sorry, I can't. I don't think I could deal with this. It's too much. You've already decided on this, haven't you? Dot. Fine. I don't want to believe it. But you turn out to be a lost cause after all. Do whatever you want. I'm leaving. It really does take a while to eat a person's body weight in candy, huh? But all of you taste so good. God. I should try to make another one of you myself without magic, of course. I wonder if I could do it. Imagine how much I could sell something like that for two. Syrup, are we friends? Huh? What do you care? You're just candy. Oh, I see. Speaking of friends, where the hell is Pastille? Some of his stuff is missing and he hasn't come back in since a couple of days now. Can't believe he's throwing such a huge fit over this. That kid is so fired. That's... Syrup continued to eat Candy Girl until she was no more. After countless attempts to create another, she was forced to go up when her store was closed down due to declining sales. Pastille never returned. Can can candible end. I did it. I won. Skip. Uh, do not eat. I'm not eating you! Is there a problem? Please, put me in your mouth! Oh dear. It's about time. Pastille, make her stop. I promise I taste good. Here, just start with a finger. I said, no, I'm not going to eat a person. It's too weird. I'm not just a person. I am candy. This is the whole point of candy is to get eaten. Hmm, Sai, why don't you just eat her then? Because she's not regular candy. I don't want to eat any magic candy that acts like it's human. If I did not act human, would you eat me? No, it's too late. Never eating you. Ever. Got it. <laughs> no! Hey, don't give up. Maybe she'll change her mind one day. Don't encourage her. Whose side are you on? I, I will not give up. I'll get along with Syrup. If you want to get along so badly, stop telling me to eat you. But still, do something about this. Me? Yeah, you. It's your fault she's in here. What do you mean? I know exactly where this came here. Girl came from. Y you do? That rotten witch made her to torment me. This is all her stupid elaborate prank. You forgot to lock this place up last night and look what happened. Oh yeah, that's probably what happened. Whoops, my apologies. Whatever, just hurry up and get her out of here. I've got work to do. Yes, no more. The important work of eating me. I said that's not gonna happen. Sarah, you are going the wrong way. Hold on. Question mark? You'll never be able to get along with her if you keep telling her what to do. Really? Yeah, can't you tell? She doesn't like it very much. You have to find out what she likes. Pastille, I can't help but notice that doesn't sound like you're trying to get rid of her. In fact, it sounds like the complete opposite. Alright, mister. Master, I will find out what she likes. Master. Maybe she means master of the household? This is my store, not a house. If anyone's the master, it's me. Should I have not called you master? Master? Um, just Pastille is fine. Master Pastille. Well, that's close enough. You, quit being so friendly with my assistant. And you, I thought you told I told you to get out of here. Come on, Sai. Not heralding anything. If gang, it was that witch who made her, obviously, as a prank or something. Just what? She'll start wrecking my lab any minute. Question mark? I don't think she ever planned on wrecking anything, Sai. Uh, you saying I'm wrong? And that she's here for some other reason? Well, I, I don't know, I just think... You, candy weirdo, who made you? That is a secret. Figures, why are you here then? Get along with syrup! See? Harmless. Shut your face. Alright, wanna know the secret to getting along with me? Yes! Stay out of my lab! But, let's give us the space for now, okay? Okay. Why is she even listening to Pastille? Stupid candy weirdo. No while later. One more batch of these and shoot. I need more tartrazin. Tartrazin. 
Guess I'm taking a shopping break. Then every day after the cleaning stuff, we take inventory. Running a store sounds like a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for you, Master Pastille. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, so, I'm teaching her how we run the store. I am helping! No, 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 no. You are supposed to make her leave, not reveal all our trade secrets. Why'd you dress her up like that? Would you rather she kept walking around naked? She needs a uniform, she's going to go work here. She's not working here! I want to work for Syrup, let's get along. Cut it out! What are you thinking, Pastille? What if she really was sent here as a spy so that witch can ruin us? It's like you're just handing her a business. We could use the extra help. If she does turn out to be but a Scottish spy, I'll take full responsibility. So can we keep her? Magic candy golems aren't pets. I said no. I will work hard to earn my stay. I'm very skilled with menial tasks. It's true. She cleaned this whole place while you were down there making candy. Look around. It's spotless. Hmm. She did do a good job. You even look brighter than usual. Still don't like it. I'm not hurrying spy. She's not staying here. That's final. Spying is not a friendly thing to do. Exactly, which is why I gotta be proactive here. Sigh. So, I'm taking her back to where she came from. Close up shop and follow me. Master be seal. I do not understand one bit. I'm sorry. I wish you could stay here. Certainly make things a lot easier. Oh well. But it's got just... Oh god. <laughs> There's me. Okay. Yeah, ha ha. Visitors? Tell the witch we have something of hers. What do we have here? She's talking about you. That a candy golem, yeah? Looks very well made. Master will be very interested. Yeah, yeah, just get her out here. So bossy, yeah. Hey, Master. <laughs> God, your old pal, the candy alchemist is here with something sweet, yeah? What? Don't lie to me, Toffee. She'll never bring me anything. Honest, yeah? Come see for yourself. That's Well, 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 I never thought I'd see the day where the great candy alchemist Sarah personally brings me candy. Butterscotch. Let's see. Oh, a life-size, girl-shaped candy. It looks delicious. I am relieved to hear that. I was one worried I didn't look tasty since Sarah refused to eat me. It's alive? Where'd you get her hands on a golden like this? Quit playing dumb. I know you made her to torment and or spy on me. You think that I... Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, well done, Candy Alchemist. You're exactly right. I made this golem myself with my incredibly powerful magic. Meow, meow, master. I can't, I can't believe you made something so sophisticated without me noticing. You shush, this is nothing. I can do higher level magic in my sleep. It doesn't count if you do it in your dream, yeah? It's not what I meant, and you know it. Sai, are you sure you want to leave her with these two? Sure. I already told you, she's not staying with us. They made her, they can have her. Wait, are you bored to give it to me? Just take your candy weirdo back and leave me alone. Huh? Come on, Pastille. Are we leaving? Sorry, you have to stay here. But how will I get along with Syrup? I promise, I'll promise to come visit you, I'm sorry. Sweet, free candy servant. How lucky for, how lucky for us, yeah? That's the next day. Still texting on the candy girl. But I've got to be diligently eating her away. Even the poor girl, I'm in a miserable state. I'm very concerned, but still confronts her about the consequences of her actions. Can't let Butterscotch keep treating her so badly. Some of her limbs are missing. She looks so so sad. Not my problem. Please, sir. I know you love shutting people out, but I'm really worried about her. Butterscotch won't listen to me. I need your help. Nope. Don't feel like it. Why don't you understand? I guess the whole thing was just a waste of time. Guts. But still didn't return. Syrup sent spent a sleepless night at the front desk waiting for him to show up with the candy girl in tow to give her an evil about being so irresponsible 
but that moment never came. There was no time to dwell on it, either. She had a store to run. Dots. Dots. Why isn't anyone coming in? Oh, I forgot to flip the open sign. Gah, it's the cat. I see business been slow for you today, nya. Wanna buy some candy? Oh, nya. Maybe in some other time. Then why are you here? Master is always wondering what you're up to, nya. My assistant bailed on me, so I'm stuck doing everything he used to do. What a coincidence. We recently had a servant disappear as well. Perhaps they ran away together. Figures. You'd like you could see some help, yeah? I'm fine running this place on my own. Oh, so you closed all morning on purpose? Shut up! Why don't you hire me? Why don't you have a? Why don't you hire meow? You could just pay me in candy. I don't mind, yeah. Not that desperate. No way. No more new hires. This is my store, and I'll manage just fine. Well, well, in that case, I wish you the best of luck. See you around, yeah. But Rhonda's store on her own proved to be more of a challenge than Sarah expected. Her unpleasant demeanour kept customers at bay, and the less candy she sold, the more frustrated she felt. It wasn't long before Atelier Sweets was forced to close down, and Sarah was left with nothing, and no one. Bad in one. Nailed it. Gonna go skip, but da da uh, do not eat. Skip. And then we're gonna, uh, um, still don't like it. I'm gonna try hiring the cat. Uh, mine's made up. I should make some more saves. Um, ignore him. And then take the cat. Fine, but I'm making you wear the weed form. Do you want the pants or the shirt? Neiman, yeah? I like my own clothes, just fine. This is literally the only condition to handling the storefront. I'm not hiring you if you don't wear it. Are you sure? Look like you need really some employees, yeah. Yeah, Dan Cat, do whatever you want. Toffee began running the storefront, improving sales immediately. Sir felt kept herself locked in the basement, steadily producing more and more candy, trying to keep up with this town's sweet tooth. In as little as a week, her shop had completely transformed into a place she no longer recognised. Hey, is it me or did the vibe up here totally change? I'm only responding to the customer's needs, yeah. Speaking of which, the focus group testing has shown that we need to get in on the magical candy market. What? Absolutely not. The whole point of the store is that none of the candy here is made with magic. Master has already agreed to help out, so you don't need to worry about that part. Just let her take care of it, yeah. You're taking over my store? Oh, you finally caught on? Then I'll tell you this, too. The whole reason we've been doing this. Well, it's because of magic, yeah. What do you mean? Master's well, been jinxing everyone to crave your sweets. The more money you wait, the more candy she makes. That's, that's just messed, messed up. Anything for Master. If you don't like it, feel free to quit, yeah. we will be entitled to any of the profits anymore, though. I don't want any of your stolen money. I'm leaving. Suit yourself, yeah. Why did Pastel have to abandon me like this? That traitor. Syrup left town in search of a place far removed from panic. She resolved to spend the rest of her days in obscurity, never staying in one place very long. This ensured no one could ever get close enough to Tabiri her again. Bad in two. Um, in that case, and then... Okay, I see your point. I get it, you're right. Even if she's made a candy still person, I won't eat her. I'm so glad you understand. No! Master Festeel, why do you pre prevent me from fulfilling my destiny as candy? Master. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Please just call me Festeel. Anyway, let's get you closed up so Sura can get back to her work. Lots of candy to make today, right? I won't have to if we just harvest her organs. That's not an option. Okay, look, I'm being nice enough to eat, not eat her. But you know, it's obvious where she came from, right? Gonna take a swig of tea. Yeah, good stuff. What are you talking about? There's that random witch. Forgot to lock up the lace last night and then skip. That's one theory, I suppose. Oh, I mean, it's just re really suspicious, right? Hey, candy girl, what are you here for? My main objective is to get along with Syrup. See, definitely a spy. Since I can't eat her, I want her out of here. Sure, no problem. Come with me, Miss Candy Spy. Oh, 
Oh, I've been given a name. No, no, I was just, whatever, let's go. A little while later. One more batch of teeth and shoot, I need more tarts, raising, get some on a shopping break. Uh, if we, okay, let's go. That. Spying is not a friendly thing to do. Uh, on second thought. You know, I think I may have jumped the gun a little on this one. What was I thinking? Coming here and politely returning her wouldn't teach them a lesson at all. You're really gonna give them that thing to us, yeah? Not anymore. Come to my senses. You probably would have just eaten her in a day anyway. You cannot save my sweetness if you eat me all at once. What a waste. I would have paced myself here. I'll show you. Let me try a little piece right now. Too bad. You should have thought about that before. You left her in my lab as a prank. At least you can always make another one, right? Great. Yeah, I can. Who do you think I am? Anyway, if you ever pull something like this again, I'm banning you and your stupid cat from my store. We clear? Oh, no. Then, then we'll, where will Master get her favorite candies? You can't ban me. I'll put a hex on you. Please do not do that. Hexes are not very nice. Come on, guys. We're going home. Can't please just came here to rub that thing on my face. You're so mean. You started it by declaring your rival way back then, yeah. Shut up, Mangy Cat. Yeah, who's the mean one? And so the Godem stars are living her syrup uh, with syrup and pastille at Atelier Sweets. She became a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel, jelly, something. Mm, no. You'll think of something. I have faith in you, Syrup. What's going on in here? Trying to come up with a name for her. You're naming her? What happens if candy golems aren't pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her Candy Weirdo. Technically, you could. No, we really should give you a proper name. How about Gundrop? Gundrop? It's a nice name. I think she likes it. Yes, if I knew it was Syrup, we would pick something good. Blah, 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 something good. Milk, so this person's called Milk Chocolate. Hello, hello, the Chocolate Brothers are here, making the entrance. Yes, this one's called Dark Chocolate. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we decided to pop in. Hello, welcome to Atelier Sweets. Oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now. How charming. But if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making? Unless you found a way to create life for your alchemy. She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. Oh, mysterious. I'm completely taken with her. May I offer you flowers, milady? Magic flowers? You're very good, sir. Can you not do that here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not bust around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? It's my store. I'll do what I want. Hmm, would you be perhaps in selling this one? She's quite adorable. How much we're talking? I don't know. What's she worth to you? Depending on the number, I might be interested. S Sai, that's terrible. We just gave her a name. We're not selling her. Um, if I could not stay here with Syrup, it would become very difficult to complete my goal. Are you quite certain? We would like to remind you that money is no object for us. Sorry, we need her here. What a shame. Golems are said to be quite excellent servants. Come to, we've come to want one of our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh no no! It's a very high level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined power couldn't result in anything close to that. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Well well, we'll just have to give it a go sometime. Hmm? Now I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that. Allow me to assist you at the register. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she overdoes it. Whoever keeps the customers happy, though. Hey, Pastille, is it true not just any old witch can make a golem? Huh? Well, you don't seem very many walking around, so sounds about right. Dots. Penny for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. She looked genuinely surprised to see Gundrop, and could have been just to act to throw me off. I don't know anymore. 
Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? Seems to be seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? No. no? Ask her to tell you who her creator is, since she won't tell me you're her only hope, dude. Uh oh, I asked her already. When I was training her for work. No luck there, sorry. Ugh, I'd drag it out of her some way or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Um, yeah, I was planning on... Leaving? Going out today. Would have left sooner if I hadn't got caught up talking to everyone. Thanks for that. Alright, enjoy the sunshine. Maybe it'll make you a little less grouchy. Don't count on it. Oops, she suddenly came out. Toffee, what do we do? Butterscotch cat, what are you doing creepily lurking outside my store? It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name, yeah. Don't dodge the question and don't try to run away. Ha 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 ha, who's running away? This is a public road. We're well within our rights to loiter here. We came here to see a golem, yeah. Shh, we no, we didn't. We just, we I just about to come in and show off something incredible I made. Get ready for some disappoint meow. Dis oh god, disappoint meow. If you only came here to sandbag me and make your stupid puns, then just go home. I'm really proud of this. Ta-da! Her name is Matilda. S see, now we both have delicious magical miracles to do our bidding. Joking, right? may not be as big and lifelike as your golem, which I also made, but this is this one's got twice the charm if you ask me. She doesn't move as much either, but well. Now that you've seen the merits of Matilda, I'm sure you can't resist the urge to trade golems with us. So that's why you're here, to get John Bo Gumdrop back. Well, too bad, she's working for me now. That's not fair, you said it yourself, I'm the one who made her, that's she's my thing. Listen, I'm not trading Gumshot for your dummy candy doll, so quit hanging around here, scaring off paying customers. So, if we came in and made a purchase, you'll forgive us? What you do to words is unforgivable. Meowch. Ah, sweet Matilda, you've fallen to pieces. I guess the only option left is to eat you and to buy some more candy. Fine, come in. Just don't try to steal Gundrop while I'm not looking. I don't want to have to walk all the way back to your house to bring her back. Of course not. That would be candy napping. Yeah. Oh, here's the witch and kitty cat from before. Oh, there she is. Such beautiful gummy skin. And oh, if I could just try a bite of that hair. You haven't already? That's odd, considering you claimed that you made her. But that's because I had to send her over in a flawless condition. I should showed a lot of restraint, you know, but it paid off. She's perfect. Yeah, I mean, Ashley is at her limit. She let her have a taste before she does it. Yeah, absolutely not. You can't have any other candy in here except gun drop. How cruel, you just want to keep her all to yourself, don't you? I'll put up with... I'll put up with it for now. Just don't forget who that girl actually belongs to. Me! Yeah, yeah, enough whining. Just buy something and get out. And Don't get any of your gross magical drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross, and you should take this drool as a compliment. Yeah! Come on, Toffee, let's blow this popsicle stand. Next time those two come by, we should really just pretend we're closed. That's the next morning. Gondrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, syrup. I am organizing your bookshelf. Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for another few hours. I do not require sleep. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without my permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and... You already did, but whatever. I guess it's fine. Sir, I have noticed a trend with the books in your personal library. Oh? Yeah, what's that? They are all very boring. Gee, thanks. Only one book is abnormal, and is the only one with reference to magic. Magic? Throw it out. Wait, isn't this? Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. Yeah, yeah. See the page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate sugar. The ultimate sweet, even. A legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, 100 stars. Shelf life, eternal. 
those who partake in the sweet are blessed with great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained, and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate sweet require both magical talent and mastery of silence. Silence? Science. Making it exceedingly difficult, if not utterly impossible, for one person to create on their own. The ultimate sweet? Is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastille I was going to make it one day so that he could taste it. But like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find about magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Master Pastille wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. He probably forgot about it by now. Sir, we should make it. Ugh, like I said, I had to give up on it. You can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can ask, uh, I mean... A witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely. Alright, candy weirdo. Let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet without magic. Good. And while Master Pastille eats it, you can eat me. i said it a thousand times. I'm not eating you. Disappointment. Come on. Then we'll need to do some research before we go out gathering ingredients. Alright, keep an eye out for any encyclopedias about plants. Candy Alchemist, what's a surprise? And you brought your new assistant. To what do we owe the pleasure? Perhaps he comes to sell your golem to us against our, your friend's wishes. Sure, say it, it's not so. Actually, I didn't expect to run into you here, so no. You didn't expect it? Our family owns this library, dear. You ought to have known that. Certainly you've lived here long enough by now. We're always dilly-dallying, so if you're always if you're looking for something in particular, allow us to direct you to our to the proper shelves. How convenient. We need information on a certain plant, so if you could help us speed up the process, we'd appreciate it. Glad to be your assistant, Slick Candy Alchemist. We look forward to tasting whatever it is you're synthesizing. All of the Plants in this book look so interesting. I would like to see some of them in person one day. Got stuff from all over the world. We'd have to travel pretty far to even see half of these. Travelling with Syrup would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together. Hopefully for this thing we don't have to go too far. Oh, this page. This is exactly what we need. Frosted Cream Miller. A rare species of vanilla orchard that miraculously thrives in frozen environments. This magical plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates, but its fruit can last up to three days depending on storage temperature. Because it inexplicably glows, grows from cryotic, soul, so, cryotic soil, it is believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of an ice goddess. According to this, we should be able to find it on Mount Sorbet, but... But, it is impossible. We would definitely need magic to even have a chance of finding it. So, we will ask a witch to help us. I'm sure Miss Butterscotch would. Absolutely not. Then, how do you plan to get the final ingredient? <sighs> Look, it's not going to happen. That mountain is home to a ton of monstrous beasts and it's freezing cold. I'll probably die if I went on my own. I shall accompany you, Syrup. You won't be able to move in those temperatures. You made our candy, remember? I'll be fine if you keep me warm. Just put me in your mouth and... Stop. We're not going. Not. Who would ever go to such crazy extents just to make some special dessert? Kind of a waste of effort, he asked me. You're right, sir. It is silly. Let's quit. Are you angry? Nope. Master Pastille will not even know he missed anything. It really was just a waste of time. Gumdrop. Absorbed and fought, Syrup takes her time returning home. Was it, was it worth it to deny her friend what would surely be the most delicious treat in the world, just to hang on to stubborn pride? He had never thought about it before. Asking which for help seemed impossible for a variety of reasons, but soon she might just have to. Oh, sorry, where have you been all the morning? Out. Fair enough. If you see Gundrop, could you ask her to run the stretch store for a while? Business has been picking up, so I actually need to help. She isn't here? Uh, I thought she was with you. No, I might know where she went. Just keep working. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. 
Not like I have any other choice. Oh well. Yeah, wow. It's Candy Alchemist again. I need your help. You're the only people I can ask. I don't want Pastille to know anything about this. Oh, what is it? Something serious? Need to bury a body? No. Gundrop ran off, and I think she went to Mount Sorbet to get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever. You guys don't need to know the details. Ah, so that's where she is going. I saw her pass by and wondered. Yeah. What? Why didn't you stop her? I greeted her, but the girl was on a mission. She barely even told me where she was padding off to. She just pointed to a mountain and said, That way. You should know. I have a policy of never asking too many questions. Curious he only needs trouble for folks like me. Use the scat. At least that confirms she was definitely going in that direction. I wonder how far she got. Do you think she something bad happened to her? What if she got eaten along the way? If it's too cold, she won't be able to move. And if she doesn't come home, Pastel will get all upset and probably blame me for it. She wants me to make the special recipe for him, but if he knew she was only trying to get the last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go, well, I guess I'll blame me too. Say no more, I'll help you find dear sweet gun drop. But only he give me a taste of whatever it is you're planning on making. This was a terrible idea. I should have saved. Fuck. Go back. No, I want to. S fuck. Shit. I'm bad at saving. This is a terrible idea. I suddenly don't feel like it. Maybe I'll risk going alone. No, no way. I'm way too invested in this idea now. You have to let me come along. Ugh, fine. I need magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste, that's it. We'll negotiate the turn later. Let's go get your candy bag. What about you, cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? Yeah, thanks. That place is all snow and dogs. I can hardly stand the thought of it. I'm a silly dweller at heart. Yeah. Just wait here right here for us, Toffee. We'll be back before you know it. Be safe. Yeah. Mount Sorbet. I hate the cold. It's not that bad, but I guess it's different for someone who's not protected by magic. Hee hee hee. How about I bury in the snow to see what your magical protection does against that? Oh, my dear alchemist, are we supposed to be partners on this little quest? Can't talk our way to a party member. Let's just get along. I'm gonna save now. Uh, bah, bah, back. Ugh, not you two. Question mark? Gunjot's always insisting she wants to get along with me. Why do I need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do things my own way without annoying people trying to befriend me? A annoying? Ahem, I didn't say we should be friends, I just think we should best if we should, could cooperate. Fair enough, this place could be pretty dangerous. I've read there's some ferocious wolves that gang up on you and rip you to shreds. Well, wolves? I, I, I'm not afraid of any wolves. How about a whole pack? Do you think you can take them out with your magic? Easily. Oh really? You're trembling. And that's because of the cold. Well, what's that ahead? Here's a wolf, a monster, syrup, do something. I think we found gun drop. She's completely frozen. I wonder if she's conscious right now. Hey, candy idiot. I told you this would happen if you came up here. You're lucky we found you. So someone was looking for her. Wolf! Butterscotch, you're being rude. I've been watching this going for a while. Now, wondering if anyone would show up to fetch her. Huh? You live around here? Nod. We actually came to find a special plant. Do you think you could take her to your house to fall while we go get it? I promise we won't be too long. Psst, Sarah, why does she eat her? Dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. See, no one to worry about. This way is a lot more convenient than taking her all the way home and then having to hike all the way back her for just one little plant. I don't mind taking her in. Seeing us frozen in place for so long was kind of sad. We don't even know who you are. Why should we trust in you? We should trust you with something so valuable as living candy, Tree. Huh? It's my name. Now we're acquainted. Alright, Butterscotch. Do you have any other problems, or can we get going now? <laughs> no. Glad that's all settled. Let's go find your rare ingredient, whatever it was, and go home. Sorry, she's more of a cat person. Sir, it right. I smell a pretty powerful spell on that witch. Is she really okay to be up here wasting that much magic? A spell? I don't know what you're talking about. Guess ordinary humans can't assess that kind of thing. It's plain as day to me. 
Anyway, smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return your golem later. Sure, thanks. After a seen directions from Treat, the pair continues up the mountain. Sir felt at ease knowing Gundrop was safe, but, Ul but Butterscotch seemed to be having a rough time. Things only got worse, they ran into trouble. Menacing growl. Ah, a r r r wolf. What are you doing? Scare it off with your magic. Oh, uh, to take this monster. Woof. He turned a pink. That was supposed to be a fireball. I, I, I don't know what happened. Either way, I guess it worked. Lucky break. Dots. Butterscotch. You wouldn't happen to have, like, a curse on you or anything, right? Rude, I am not c c cursed. I am completely f fine. I just lost focus and messed up. It happens sometimes to everyone. Your teeth are chattering. Well, I'm your magic protection against the gods. Against the gods? Against the cold? <laughs> Why the gods? <laughs> it's we're windy, and maybe I'm not as strong as I thought. Are you happy? She can deal. Should have dressed up for the weather. That's what happens when you get overconfident. Just shut up, I'll make it. You'll need me for this, right? Grr. Get back with more? Time to go. Syrup and Butterscotch escape into a frozen cave. The witch hastily seals the entrance of ice, forcing the wolves to abandon their chase. Exhausted, the pair takes a well-deserved rest. Hey, you alright? No, this is awful. We should have stayed at home with Toffee where it's safe and warm. I made a choice, so I'm going to save. Well, at least we sh should be able to find what we're looking for in here. This is the exact environment Frosted Cremella thrives in. We can just chill here if you want, going further in. How dare you make a joke in a time like this. You're as bad as Toffee. That's... Sarah, wait, don't leave me alone. Whoa, yep, found it. Jack, how can you leave me behind like that? Oh, is that what we came here for? Came for what we came for? Yeah, I just need to grab some of the fruit and we can go home. Good, grab a ton so we know how to come back. Take all you can carry, take only what you need. Let's go for the bad choice again. Yeah, I know I want to go on another trip like this with you, so I might as well make this one worth the effort. Dots. Alright, magic. Let's save. Alright, magic. The ice away so we can get out of here. Alright, take this. That's uh nothing's happening. Quit missing around, break the ice. Uh, what if the walls are still there? I don't hear them or see their shadows, we should be fine. Alright, okay for real this time. Yeah da, 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 da. Is something wrong? I'm just stressed out, so my magic's not working right now, shut up. So we're trapped in here. No, no, we're not trapped. I'm a great witch. It's just a stupid spell that doesn't want to happen. Ah! Da, 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 da. Okay, we're a little trapped. Haha. <laughs> Magic is connected to the state of mind, right? Try to calm down. Calm? I'm calm as frick! Butterscotch. Everything's under control. My emotions are completely in check. So my magic should be working just fine! Butterscotch. What? Talk to me. What's wrong? I don't know. It's cold. What if I can't get out of here? Are we gonna die because of me? No, you're a great witch, remember? We'll make it. But what? I can't even get this spell to work. Seeing the cave was an accident in the first place. I panicked and it just... Hey, you'll get it. You've got talent. If you could make gum drop, you can melt ice. So just take a deep breath and try again. I didn't. Hmm? I didn't make gum drop. I don't know who did. I just took the credit to make myself look better. So sorry you thought wrong. Dots. Stupid ice. Stupid wall. Stupid, stupid. Grah. Well, Scott. Is your magic still going haywire because you look different? What? Oh, my, my spell came undone. Don't look at me. Question mark. This body is just an illusion. It's not a real me. Uh, that's not very convincing. So this is what she meant. That Wolfgang, a girl from before, told me you were wasting all your magic with some useless spell. It's not useless. I, I need it. I can't let anyone in Cut Toffee see me this way. He said tell anyone. Why do you hide behind the transformation all the time? People don't take you seriously when you look like I do. I want to be beautiful, fierce and witch that everyone admires, but instead, I'm, I'm, you're. Everything about me is fake, alright? I'm always lying to everyone. I'm barely any good with magic, and I can't even bear to let anyone see what I really look like. 
And now we're gonna die because I'm a big fat coward who could never tell you the truth. Are you happy? Da -da -da -da. Well, just so say something. Are you gonna yell at me? Do you hate me? Yeah, I hate you. I know what to say to you. <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> was there any way out? Do you think I would have come back if there was? Da -da -da. I can't believe you'd lie about literally everything just to make yourself look better. I should never trust you to come all the way here with me. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be sorry. We're gonna die here all because you're too unstable to break us out. I'm not happy about it either. either. You know, me isn't gonna make any all my magic suddenly work, you know. Whatever. The air only seemed to get colder and colder in that cavern. Unable to reconcile their differences, the pair sat across from each other in silence. Butterscotch was never able to melt ice away. And eventually, the two of them succumbed to the cold. Frozen end. We did it! Yeah! Load game! Um, let's do the thing that was just here. I don't hate you. I don't hate you at all, Butterscotch. I never have. Oh, what are you saying? Sometimes I wonder why we're always fighting, and I guess it's because that's the way we are. But it's not like I ever actually hated you. You're lying. Why would I lie? There's no point, since we'll both be dead soon enough. Unless we figure out a way out of here, that is. But, I mean, I thought you hated anyone who can do magic. You do, don't you? That's not it. I just... I think that being able to do things without magic takes an incredible understanding of the world and its elements, and that's awesome. So when it feels like no one else sees that, I get frustrated. Maybe I don't trust magic users in general, but still, no. I've never hated you. Just for being a witch. Da -da -da -da. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Aren't you at least going to make fun of me? For, for looking like this? Why should anyone care what you look like? It's not like they're, it's their business, you're not hurting anyone, so who cares? You just don't get it. Everyone thinks you're cool and you don't even have to try. You don't know what it's like. Hey, I try hard to be taken seriously too. Everyone sees my alchemy as a gimmick. It's like I'm doing cheap tricks compared to anyone else in that town full of magic users. Oh well, anyone can make decent candy with magic, but yours tastes the best. Of course they do. I'm a genius when it comes to candy making. Jeez, you're so confident. I have to be, otherwise I'll just give up and do something boring with my life instead. Hey, remember the day we first met? When I came into your store to make fun of how bad your alchemy would make candy taste? But then you forced me to try a piece. And you're so impressed that you begged me to teach you how to make them. But I was still mad, so I refused. So you declared us rivals. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I just think, maybe if not for our big egos, we could have become friends sooner. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Thanks, Syrup. I feel a lot better. My magic might work now, so I'm going to give it another shot. With her mind at ease, Butterscotch is finally able to focus and melt away the wall of ice that had trapped a pair in the cavern. They make their way back down to the mountain without incident, so an unfrozen and very relieved gun drop. Eager to get working on the ultimate suite, they promptly return Butterscotch to her cottage. Tuffy, I'm home. Our mission was a success. Master, oh, your spell. I know, don't worry, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. Yeah, dog sent on you. Those wolves didn't g give you any trouble, did they? Yeah, I should have went with you. I was just being a scaredy cat. Oh, uh, hey, it was went just fine. Calm your whiskers. You were worried about me? Why wouldn't I be? You went on a dangerous mission with your greatest rifle. A lot could have gone wrong. Yeah. Guess we probably shouldn't say anything about almost freezing to death then. But what? She she's joking. She's joking. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Gundrop waiting outside. See ya. Hey, before you go, there's one more thing I should tell you about. Promise you won't hate me. Yeah, I promise. Okay, I. I've been using this crystal ball to spy on your lab. Sometimes I'm really sorry. Well, what? Here, take it. I won't use it anymore. I should save. Uh, I want to try it. Here, take it. I won't use it anymore. I know it was bad, but I want to try and learn how to make candy so I could do it myself. But your size is just too confusing. I couldn't figure it out at all, so it was all for nothing. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, thanks for telling me, I guess. 
You don't hate me? I said I wouldn't. Phew, I wasn't sure how you'd take it. I thought you'd be a lot madder. Well, we did just get from a near-death experience. The fact that you've been starting on me seems kind of inconsequential after that. Yeah, but there's this one night recorded on there. I think you'll probably want to see it. What? What night is that? What happened? Just watch it later when you get a chance. It's important. Okay. Syrup, are you ready to return home and finish the ultimate suite? Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. Later, Butterscotch. Don't forget to bring me some when it's done. I won't forgive you if I don't get to taste it. Hey, we're back. It's late. I was starting to get really worried. I am sorry to have worried you, Master Pastille, but we are working on a top secret surprise, so we will tell you all about our adventure when it is finished. Uh, surprise? Uh, good. Then I'll hold off on asking where you've been all day. We'll be downstairs, so don't come in until we're finished working, alright? So the surprise is a special, special treat. Should have guessed. Just try not to stay up all night. I know how you get when you're working on something big. I don't need you giving me a bedtime. I'll sleep when it's done. I don't need you giving me a bit. Okay. Syrup's enthusiasm for desserts is unmatched. Let us begin our work. Syrup and Gundrop retreated to her basement, spending hour after hour preparing this ultimate sweet. Finally, all that's left is to let chill overnight. We did good, Gundrop. Thanks for all your help. I am glad I could have been of assistance. I cannot wait for Master Pastille to try it. Yeah, me too. You stay here and keep an eye on this thing. I'm going to pa go pass out. <laughs> Roger that. I will see you in the morning. Now's a good chance to watch whatever's on this thing. Um, sure. Let's see what Butterscotch wants to show me. That should be it. Did it work? Are you alive now? Dot, dot, dot. Maybe I messed up the spell. Hello, Master. What is your command? Oh, you're working. I, I did it. Please issue a command. Right, right. Uh, I don't think this is through. What's the best way to explain? Okay, I have this friend. She's not very sociable and has kind of a thing against magic, so it's really ha hard for her to make friends here. Please issue a command. Yes, yeah, sorry. I guess what I'm asking is if maybe you could try, even though you're made of magic. It was a candy, so it should be okay, I think. Unable to process. Please take your command clearly. Uh, I really should have thought this through better. Uh, please try to get along with my friend, Syrup. Unable to process. Please provide instructions on how to get along. Well, first of all, the way you talk is really unnatural. Try speaking more casually, you know, be friendly. How is this? Better, keep talking. Um, I still don't understand what you want me to do, Master. Sounds too complicated. I'm sorry, I know golems aren't usually used for things like this, but I didn't have much of a choice. My friend hates talking to magic users. Speaking of which, she absolutely cannot know that I made you. She still thinks I'm just like her and can't use magic. Okay, I will work hard. Right now, I think you're doing great. Just keep acting like a regular person and you'll be friends with her in no time. Acting like? Even though you're made out of candy, it feels like I'm trying talking to a real human. Just try... Just keep being yourself. Be myself? Yep, consider that to be your main objective. Hopefully it's simple enough. Act human. But I am candy. Question mark. Be myself? Act like a person? I am candy, but act. Whoops. Maybe it was too complicated. Be cat. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, stop. Da -da -da -da. Did I break you? Da, 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 da. Looks like I messed it up again. This one seems so promising. Probably had better luck getting Sai to talk to other magic users than getting a girl to work out. Right. This is a lot of candy to go to waste though. I guess I'll go take it apart and... Da, 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 da. But this one actually talked to me. She was sentient. Hey, if I go now, would it be like I killed you? Da, 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 da. Uh, I won't give up on you. I won't give up on the syrup either. You're going to be friends somehow, I swear it. So Pastille actually turns out to be a witch. Why would he hide that from me? And isn't it a waste of talent for him to be working here? What are you thinking, Pastille? Syrup finally goes into her exhaustion and goes to bed. 
but she is unable to fall asleep. She decides to continue on as if nothing had happened, at least until she is able to talk to Bastille about the revelation. It isn't long before morning finally arrives. I'm going to save again. So, how is it? It's, it's the best thing I've ever tasted. Whoever came up with this recipe wasn't kidding about the ultimate part. Hmm, completely agree. I feel sort of bad that the gun drop doesn't have any taste buds to experience this with. I am happy just to see two of you enjoying it. I'm happy too. I thought you forgot about our promise to make this for me. So, thank you. Eh, don't start getting all sappy over nothing. Gumdrop's the one who reminded me. Serving Master Bastille is of utmost importance. Shh, don't say things like that. You don't have to be so nice to me. He's right. If we're too soft on him, he'll stop working so hard. Unacceptable. I feel like you're not joking in the slightest when you say that. But I just remember something important. I've got to go do. See you around. She's in a hurry. Wonder if that wasn't just a lame excuse to run off and she actually had some place to be. Syrup is a very mysterious person. Uh, why is it hard to say, hey, I know your secret? I've got better things to do than confront it, him about it anyway. Yeah, who cares? I'll just keep pretending it never happened. Lay the store. So, what do you say? With a luxury treat, that's good. There's a ton of money to be made, don't you think? Most certainly, Candy Alchemist, by the sound of it, you're looking to us as investors for your little shop, eh? That's right, came up with an idea last night. I made a candy, you guys fund and distribute the product, everybody gets richer. We would be fools to decline, considering the promise and example you provided us. What say you, brother? I concur. Candy Alchemist Syrup, we would be honoured to do business with a talent of your calibre. And with that, Syrup very quickly climbed the ladder of success, becoming one of the richest people in the world. With no distracting personal relationships to hold her back, she was able to live a glamorous life of self-indulgence providing deliciousness across many nations. If money could buy happiness, she had certainly done it. Way to go, Syrup End. Ah oh, shit, I've got to read out the credits. Let's start from the beginning again. Alright, we'll keep her. Fine. She can work for one day, but after that, I want her out. Thank you, Syrup. I will not disappoint you. She's already started taking in by herself. What a hard worker. What are you smiling about? She's still a job at this rate. Gas, slow down. Guess we'll settle. Need to go do some shopping. Wait. You waited. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Master Persil said he would handle inventory taking. If you're running Edwards, I would like to help. Whatever floats your boat. Fine, let's go. Huzzah. So, what are we shopping for today, Syrup? Tartrazin. Tartrazine. I've never heard of that. Does it make your candy tastier? It's food colouring. Doesn't taste like anything. Oh, I was hoping we might buy something that may, to make me taste better. Why, so I want to eat you? Yes! Well, you're out of luck. No matter what you taste like, I'm not eating you. Syrup, you're a very stubborn person. Yep. Here we go. Tartar design. Mission complete. Now you can make more inventory for me to take. Sure, just don't forget you're only staying for one day. That's fine with me. I'll just have to become your friend before then. Oh, it's the candy alchemist Nia. Syrup, a kitty cat. Meow. Where'd you get such an impressive golem? I thought you hated magic things, yeah. What do you want? Gee, whiskers. I'm not so rude as to decline greeting my master's rival when I see her. Salutations, yeah. Oh, how polite. Nice to meet you, kitty. The name's Toffee, yeah. What do they call you, Miss Golem? I've not yet been given a name. Yeah, huh, how sad for you. But really, Candy Alchemist, I'm very surprised to see this new friend of yours. Oh, I do not think we have become friends yet, but I am working very hard at it. She doesn't look familiar to you. After all, it's your master who made her, right? Was it? I had no idea. You aren't fooling anyone, cat. That royal witch is the only one who would try to prank me with this. She have made this golem to either spy me or to sabotage my business somehow. 
sabotage your business, masters your best customer in the air, that doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm sure she were here as she will try to take responsibility for it though. Take some high level magic to make a thing like that in the air. Which brings us back to my first point. Why is that candy alchemist who's so outspokenly anti-magic strolling around with such unscientific creature? Yeah. I'll admit, you do have a point, Cat. Take her home. Come on, we're getting out of here. Okay, goodbye, Toffee. Running away, yeah. Well, thanks for the interesting chat. The pair made their way back home. So it went straight back to work, making more delicious candies. In appreciation for the candy girl's enthusiasm and general willingness to be helpful, the candy alchemist decided to keep her as an assistant. And the stuff happened. She's not for sale. You can buy any other candy around her, but this one's mine. Sir, I'm delighted that you think of me as yours. Don't take it the wrong way. You just work for me. Your looks are, your looks are good for business. What a shame. Golems are said to be excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own, so let's skip. Supervising Gumdrop. Looking after our new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop. Do you need something, Syrup? Let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I am interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it is done? So you can steal my recipes? No, not at all. I only thought it would make a nice bonding experiment experience but if you do not wish to now nah, I guess I don't mind just know I've got my eye on you I'm definitely gonna find out what your deal is bonding with syrup Hurrah, huzzah right well you two have fun then after you pour in the syrup you let it boil for a while temperatures different depending on what kind of candy you're making syrup is the secret ingredient how fun it's a ingredient Syrup is the secret ingredient. How fun. There's no... Oh god. There's no secret ingredients. It's just a regular hard candy. And it's still exciting. What comes next? Flavour. Then you pour it all out. Add some citric acid and colour. Make it to whatever shape you want before cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kind of the fun part. Here, when the batch is ready, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Syrup, for these candies, I would like to use the colour we bought together. Oh yeah? You know it is then. <laughs> ba, da, ba, da, da, da. The sing to candy, make it taste better. I will join you. La la la. No, singing has nothing to do with it. That's just kind of a habit I have since no one's usually down here with me. I think your candies appreciate it anyway. That's enough rolling. Let's wait for them to cool off. Should be ready now. So here, let's try it. Actually, wait. Would eating this make you a cannibal? I was not made with the ability to taste things, so I will pass. Huh, what other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I'm also incapable of. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some major sensory experiences. His gun drop. I also do not feel pain, so being a candy person does not have its advantages. So uh, it does have its advantages. Hmm, guess it's just a matter of perspective then, huh? So why do you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? Was it just so you can spy me after all? I did enjoy it, and now I have a better understanding of where I came from. I don't make you though. Well, still. But maybe your parts were actually made by me? That witch does buy enough candy from me, so it's definitely possible. If you'd like to know for sure, I could always try a bite. Well, you could always try a bite. I'm trying to trick me into eating you again. That's not gonna happen. Doesn't matter what you're made of. Well, I really want to know is who put you together. Can I tell you that? I am sorry. Figures, we are done here. Get that tray of candies to Bastille going out for a while. Syrup. It came out. Toffee, what'd you do? Ahem. Toffee told me she'd be doing quite well in your hands. You know, that golem I made so magnificently crafted. Yep, your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to check in on her. That's right, see for myself how diligent she's being at um, spying up close. Unless you're going to buy something. I don't want you in my store. I brought some dosh. I could buy your candy if it means I can check out your my golem. Whatever. As long as you behave yourselves. Oh, it's the kitty cat from before. Who is your friend? 
This is my me. This is my Miasta, the great and powerful witch Butterscotch. Be ca- grateful she is gracing you with her presence, Nia. Oh, there she is. Such beautiful gummy skin, and oh, if I could just try to bite of her hair and skip syrup. Syrup, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others. Butterscotch is the worst, though. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. She probably thinks if she eats enough of them, she'll exalt the knowledge. If she thought her magic was better, I do not think she would support you by buying so many of her ca- your candies. You should be nicer to her. Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care anyway? I'd like for Sarah to get along with everyone. Is that what your creator wants to? For me to be friends with Butter Scott so she can get free candy from me? That is not the intention. Sight, don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening. Master Bastille, I do not think Sarah trusts in me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gundrop. Once she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sai? We'll see. Gundrop, what are you doing, my lab? Let's skip. I'm organizing your bookshelf. Uh, are you also looking for books? No, my dear, our family owns this library. Really? Huh. You ought to have known that. Certainly, you lived here long by now. We're always dilly dallying. If you're looking for something, so let's skip. Uh, let her help. Uh, fine. I need magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste, that's it. Negation it terms later. Let's go get your handy back. What about your cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? No thanks. That place is all snow and dogs. I could hardly skip. Offer a coat. Take only what you need. I'm really bad at this. What do I do now? Uh, look into crystal ball. Syrup is still awake. It was very lonely down there, so I... What is it that you're holding? Pistol made you? Huh? huh? No, you absolutely cannot know that. Why not? Master Pistil said that he hate talking to magic users, so you actually cannot know. Forget, forget. Okay, okay, I forget. You already forgot? Yeah, you were made by that Ron Witch as an elaborate prank, right? Yes, and not Master Pistil. He had nothing to do with it. I know, it was that witch, not Pistil. That good for nothing. Wouldn't know the first thing about making a magic golem. Master Pistil is not a good for nothing, but other than that, you are exactly right. Mm. <laughs> oh man. Syrup is laughing? Why? It's just funny. He made you exactly my type. Well, aside from your weirdo personality. He did not make me. You said you forgot. Alright, I forgot. For real this time. But now I'm going to have to thank Butterscotch instead. You are grateful? Yeah, I thought I was okay with just having Pastille around. But having a new friend was kind of fun. Friend? Do you mean that at last we are getting along? I think we have been for a while now. Then my task has been complete and you are only telling me just now? I didn't know it was your task until a bit ago, sorry. Oh, Master Basile will be so happy to hear of this. We must inform him right away. Wait, question mark? I have a few questions for you about what you are. You are only following your creator's orders and acting friendly towards me, right? Doesn't that mean it's all kind of fake? After you tell him, we've been getting along and he says that's enough then is whatever this is just over would you like to hear the honest answer syrup i don't know at first i thought you were a very pushy and selfish person i worked very hard to be as friendly as i could but i think that also but i think that also makes me pushy and selfish like you but there are many times where i've been where you have been kind to me when it did not serve you to do so and also worked hard for Master Bastille to make the ultimate sweet. I was instructed to act as a human, although I am candy. Maybe that means I am not capable of sincere feelings, but you have always treated me well despite that. I would like to prove to you that I have also 
defy expectations. Come draw. Now, I am going to go wait by Master Patil's bedside so that I may go tell him the moment he wakes up that we have achieved getting along. No, don't do that. It's creepy. Understood. To avoid seeming creepy, I will stand here in the dark until he becomes downstairs. That way, he sounds it sounds creepy too. I guess he can't help it though, huh? This is creepy. That is creepy. I just cannot win with you, Syrup. You should go to sleep and not worry about how I pass the time. All right, all right. See you in the morning. So, how was it? This is the best thing I ever tasted. Now that I think about it, I actually have an errand for you. Take a serving of the stuff to Butterscotch, okay? I promise I'll let her have a taste. How generous of you. I had to fill a request so nice. So, Gontrol, what do you want to do now that your main objective is taken care of? Huh? Master Steel has not given me any other orders. I'm not talking about any orders. I mean, what do you want to do with your life? Well, I was only created the other day, so I do not know. What do you think I should do, Syrup? Can't be the one to decide that, or else it defeats the entire purpose. I just can't imagine you'd want to stay here and spend all your time working. Hmm, yes, it'd be unfortunate if I did not get to see all the wonderful things in the books from yesterday. But most importantly, I would like to continue to strengthen our bond, Syrup. I think Master Pastille will be pleased by that. Then, maybe we could go travelling together? You brought it up before, but actually think about it now. You definitely should. Well, we could po could not possibly leave the store unattended. Pastille is better at running the end at this place than I ever could be. If I leave instructions for making the candy, I'm sure he'll do just fine on his own. He could always hire someone in town if he needs help. Even another witch, if he has to, considering he's been one all along. Got no right to complain. No, you're not supposed to know about that, remember? Please forget. Haha, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I won't mention it anymore. So what do you say? Want to go on a journey together? Mm, yes, I'd love that. And so Sarit dismissed Gumshop from her job as a shop assistant and they began travelling the world together, selling candy along the way. Pastille happily kept the store running on his own and studied Syrup's notes on candy very closely to ensure there would be no drop in quality while Syrup was away. Butterscotch felt a little lonely with her, with her rival out exploring the world, but at least Toffee was there to keep her company. Gun drop in. Credits. Story art. Dum dum. Nami. Music was by Markoff. Special thanks to Protag, Dark, Chibi Shadow, Trip, Nikit, Sunny, Pivy, Justin, Amber, Y, Shogu, Budgie, Bear, Far, Burkini, Maiden, Rempy. Super extra special thanks to people who support creator stuff. You're all awesome. Alright, we're going again. I will get every ending. Get lost. I don't need any help. You can go now. Please, let me accompany you. Why do you never listen to what I say? I'm your boss now, so if you're not careful, you're going to get fired. I, I do not want to be fired. Then get lost. I'm going alone. That's... Here it is. Hmm, might as well pick up some other things while I'm here. Oh, excuse me. No problem. Gah, it's you! You can forget my name. It's Toffee. Yeah. Quit screwing around. Your master told me to tell told you to tell me to see how I deal with her little present, isn't that right? Yeah, uh -huh. A present? I don't remember us sending you one. Don't play dumb cat. You guys left a candy golem in my lab last night to spy on me or something. A candy golem? Master doesn't have that kind of talent, yeah. I just know she's trying to sabotage my business somehow. I don't care if you admit it or not, you're the most likely suspect. No, the only possible subjects. Suspects. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Paranoia doesn't suit you, yeah. That's. Master's your best customer. Does it make a lick of sense for her to try and ruin you in such an absurd way, yeah? Whoever's responsible, though, sounds like they have a pretty elaborate scheme going. Why make a candy golem saboteur when there's so many winning saboteur human saboteurs to pick from? You tell me. Sir, at least the marketplace. The cat's words still hanging in her mind. If the witch had nothing to do with the candy golem, then where could she have come from? When Syrup returned home, Pastor was waiting for her. Where's our candy friend? Dunno. Sight, did you lose her in town? Maybe, why do you care? That's awful, we have to find her. Yeah, fun with that. I know you don't like her, but isn't this a little mean, even for you? 
Well, she's not my responsibility. If you didn't want her to get lost, you should have kept her inside. I don't think you'll just leave her somewhere. Why are you getting so worked up over Candy? She's the person. I'm going to go. I'm going to look for her. Whatever. Bye. But still, didn't return. Sarah spent a sleepless night at his front desk waiting for him to show up. Candy didn't give her an for being responsible. That moment never came. There was no time to dwell on it. She had a store to run. Find anyone coming in. Let's skip. I see. Since her other spy bailed, she's forced to use her familiar again. Other spy, yeah? Oh, the candy girl whom you mentioned. But, you know, she wasn't really working for us. If she was, she did a good job. My sister quit because of her, so congratulations, you won. Miss Golem isn't here then? That's a shame, yeah. Did you come to collect her? I would have liked to show her to my master, that's all, yeah. Like I said, your master's the one who made her in the first place, it couldn't have been anyone else. Are you poor ass, Tim? Quit with the terrible cat pun stuff here, I'm being serious, my assistant's gone, if I wasn't by the scotch's fault, I don't know who I'm supposed to blame. Then just forget about it, yeah? Gotta move forward and sell those candies, right? Not much else to do, I guess. They'd like to use some help, yeah? Skip. Leave it, yeah. I like my own clay. You wear that uniform. Just skip. I'm bad at getting endings. I'm so bad at getting endings. Uh, Alright, we'll keep her. Whatever floats your boat. Leave without her should be the same thing. If she were with me, that is, which she's not. What? If she were with me, that is, which she's not. But we came here to buy colour for your candy, remember? Like I said, she belongs to a certain witch who has no ring elf. Who has it out for me? Don't associate with anyone who does magic or anything. I was born for magic. Syrup. That's too bad. Maybe it was foolish that to think she'll suddenly get over her biases like that, though, yeah? You're welcome to come to my house if you like. Master would be love to meet you, yeah? No, thank you. I must keep trying. Goodbye, Toffee. Rats. Syrup hurries past the other shops, keeping her head down to avoid drawing attention. Her shop had always done just fine, leaving anything magical out of the equation. She felt a, s a tinge of regret letting, letting the golem stick around. When she returned home, Pastille was waiting for her. He's right. Pastille, wait up! Pastille and Syrup wandered the town and searched for their sweet golem, finding it a little difficult to call out to someone who hasn't even been given a name. Their search soon stretches into the woods, come to recluse witches, home to recluse witches, and the occasional monster. Hey, candy girl, you're around here. With that level of enthusiasm, she would sure to come running. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm trying here. Hey, is that her? Sir of a master Bastille appeared. You're okay? We were worried. What are you doing all the way out here? I am lost. Well, now you're found. Let's go home, okay? Home with syrup. That sounds wonderful. I'm just glad something didn't eat you up. Rats, and I was so close to luring here inside. Yeah. And so the golem did stuff. Um, not for sale. When we found Gundrop wandering near her cottage, I took it as proof there in cahoots somehow. But now I'm starting to think that might have been coincidence. Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? No. no. I was going to tell you who her creator is. She won't tell me. You don't hope, dude. Let's skip. Yeah, I was planning on working with you. Lending you a hand running the storefront, maybe? Very funny. No joke, dude. You actually help me with all the work you'd usually push off on me because you hate doing it? Is this something you want? I have to spend some time with my bestest buddy, Pastille. Come on, is it that weird for me to take a break from candy making to help with the candy shop keeping? Honestly, yes. Well, maybe I just want a little change of pace. Is it okay if I work with you for one afternoon? Your people skills are lacking, and you never remember where any of the inventory goes. And whenever you clean anything, I always have to go over a second time. They may be they make me better at all those things. I already made up my mind, so no more whining about what an awful job I do. Ha, if you insist. 
No, no, I told you to not put gun balls next to the jawbreakers. A little kid might hurt themselves. So, their fault for being an idiot kid. This is why we keep you in the basement. You're a danger to society. Little did you know, I've been poisoning the candy all along. I'm dangerous no matter where you put me. Heh. <laughs> Please don't joke about that. It's going to haunt me with every sale we make. Yeah, yeah, since I'm already screwing up your precious shells, got anything for me to clean instead? Thanks to gun drops help, everything's extra clean already. How about I make a list of candies we're running a little low on and you could just go back downstairs to Stop, I get it. Let me finish this job the way you want me to, at least, then I'll be out of your hair. Yeah, I should put everything where it should go. I'd never be more proud of you than this moment, Sai. See, I could be helpful when I put my mind to it. Still glad you're in charge of all these things instead of me though. Ah, let's just stay in the store. We'd be in deep trouble if we traded jobs. I don't know the first thing about making candy. Um, speaking of candy, I wanted to thank you. What for? Well, though you were completely irresponsible and left poor Gundrop to fend for herself, you still did the right thing to help me find her. I know you didn't like it at first, but now you're letting her stay here, so thanks. Eh, I don't know, you're making it sound like I approve of her now. So you'd still rather she wasn't around? In any case, she's, she's trying to hurt my business. Yes, I'd rather not endanger our store, but if she's not, then sorry, I was wrong. Can you really blame me for being suspicious though? No, of course not. I'm just glad to see that despite everything, you're finally someone new, letting someone new into your life. More accurately, she busted in out she busts in out of nowhere like a giant sugary pest. I don't think I'd ever be annoyed by Candy, but here we are. Oh don't say that. She's a golem. That means she can do is all she can do is follow orders from her creator. Hmm. And what do you think those orders were? She hasn't stolen from us yet. She could just be trying to gain our trust before the lethal strike. Spending all the time worrying about how someone's going to betray you isn't a good way to live your life. True, but I can keep my guard up for now. That's no way to make friends. I'm lo not looking to make friends. I've already got you. Is that enough? Sai, to be honest, I'm tired of watching you scare everyone off with your attitude. I know you're sensitive. I'm not sensitive. You're sensitive. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You just... Are you hungry? I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to go bring back some lunch. See ya. And she ran away. She always does. Oops, she's only carved toffee. What do we do? Skip. You didn't lose her again, did you? N no, I, I might know where she went to keep working. Don't worry about it. Be back. Fuck, I should have saved. Ah, uh, let's see what I should want to show me. Damn it, what am I supposed to do with this information? Why would he make me a fake friend? Why would he hide all this talent and waste his time working here? Who am I supposed to even talk to or about all of this? I should just go return this thing. What do you know? It's the candy alchemist, yeah? What are you doing here at this hour? Is Butterscotch awake? I came to give this back. Master is full of fast asleep. Were you hoping you could talk to her, yeah? No, I figured she'd be asleep, so. But you still came all the way here in the middle of the night? Not like I'll be able to fall asleep anyway. Well, here's a crystal ball. I'll be back tomorrow with the ultimate swing. Leaving so soon? I thought we could have a little chat while you're here, yeah? Alright, cat, what do you want to talk about then? There's plenty to say, for instance. You know Master's secret now. She works pretty hard to keep up appearances, so that's a big kind of deal, yeah? Yeah, I guess. Why do you think people hide things that are such a big part of themselves? Master does it because she cares a lot about what other people think of her. Especially when it's the opinion of someone she cares about, right? Precisely. She's really sensitive, so when someone doesn't like her, she goes out of her way to prove how great she is. It's annoying because she's really perfectly fine to begin with. The way I see it, if someone doesn't like you, you just have to let them be that way. But as long as she disagrees, she'll keep overcompensating and hide behind that spell. I think what you said might have helped her a lot though, so thanks Nia. I don't do much. Still, if she's more confident now, that means I can relax. I won't have to knock her enemies down a peg to protect her feelings all the time. How long has she been like this? Since before I became her familiar, she's always been putting on a front, but you don't have to look very hard to see that she's a complete wreck. At first I followed her because I thought it would be entertaining to watch someone like that, but somehow I became a guardian instead. Mm -hmm. 
What? You got something to say about it? I was just thinking, it's funny that you stop saying yeah for once. Meow, yeah, yeah. I can't drop the stick for a serious conversation. This is the last time I open up to you. Yeah. Sorry, I do feel a little better after talking to you though. So, thanks, Doffy. No yeah, problem. Now, go get some rest. It's really neat. Yeah. Feeling more at ease after that little chat, so it returns home as exhaustion finally hits her. Tomorrow's the day they can all finally taste the ultimate sweet. Anyway, I promise I'll get you that. So I'm heading out now. How generous of you. I'm sure she'll love it. Hey, I bought some of the ultimate sweet, like I promised. Finally, you're here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So, is it great or what? It's incredible. It's so cold, but it melts in my mouth. Never taste anything so divine. I'll buy every batch you make. Not bad at all. Well done, Candy Alchemist. I'm just glad it turned out to be worth the effort. Are you kidding me? I'll die a thousand times for one bite of this. It's that good. But anyway, you wants to talk to me? Does this mean you watch the thing? Yep. I'm still trying to figure out what to say to him. But I want to thank you for showing me the truth. You're a good friend. Oh, it's nothing. Wait, wait, we're friends? Yeah, why not? Meowie zowie, does this mean we get free candy? Huh, is that all you want out of me? No, no, I should never had a friend before that wasn't my pet. Toffee was your only friend before now. I guess we're more alike than I thought. Except my only friend kind of betrayed my trust. Syrup, I'm sorry. So, so what if you lied about being able to do magic? Master lies to me all the time. The only difference is I know all of her secrets. <laughs> Toffee! Haha, <laughs> maybe I'm just getting too worked up over it. It's not like anything he did was out of malice. Yeah, he probably just kept it a secret because he didn't know how to tell you since he don't like magic so much. You know, actually, I started thinking it's not so bad, but my alchemy is still way better. The element of sweet you made was proof enough for me, yeah? So, what are you gonna go do now? I haven't talked to him yet, have you? I will at some point. You shouldn't keep hiding it because of me. I just thought it was more important to come here and share the ultimate sweet with you two first, that's all. You've changed now. Well, I'm up to the mountain that made you so kind. Oh, you know, kind of a lot. Well, why did you do to me after? Yeah. And so, Syrup taught Butterscotch her alchemo, alchemo, alchemical process, and the witch invented her own special candy, which she seamlessly named after herself. Butterscotch candies became immediately popular, and she was able to sell them not uh, just at Atelier Sweets, but in candy stores around the world. Syrup began spending a lot of time at Butterscotch's cottage, but Pastille and Gumdrop didn't mind. They were just glad she finally seemed happy. Butterscotch end. Alright. God, how do I get these ends? Eh. I'm so bad at this. Uh, okay. In that case... Okay, I see a point. Alright, we keep her. Whatever floats your boat. Oh god, no. I fucked up, haven't I? I've already done all of these. Okay, I need to not be friends. You say it's just working, everything in magic is still letting Gunjot work for us. I know you didn't like it at first, but now you're letting her stay here, so thanks. I don't know, you're just making it sound like I approve her now. Let's skip. I want to get along with... This is a terrible idea. She could deal. Don't be friends with Butterscotch. Take only what you need. Take what you carry. I don't hate you. Uh... Look into the crystal ball? When I have never worked hard for you, come on, Sai. Give me a little more credit. Fine, I can hear your break today. Come drop. What would have been Pastille's job now is now up to you. Could you take serving the stuff to Butterscotch for me? Understood. I'll most certainly take care of it. Sharing with your rifle? That's pretty generous of you. Well, she did show me something important, so it's the least I can do. Question mark? Here, take a look. The that's. So how come you never told me? I couldn't know how much you hate magic users. If you knew I was one, dude, you're like family. I would never hate you. I'm honestly more upset with myself knowing there was a 
entire side of you that you were too scared to show because of the stuff I said. Don't worry too much about it. I'm just sorry I couldn't tell you for myself for you to find out like this. It's not like I was completely blindsided. There were plenty of things to clue me in. I just sort of ignored them, I guess. So why do you go through all the trouble of making a golem for me? Ever since we came to this town, you've been really bitter. You weren't correcting with anyone except to antagonise them, like with Butterscotch and Toffee. Hey, Butterscotch started it. Still, I want you to have a friend you could open up to, so I decided to make one with myself. She didn't turn out quite right though. I'm really sorry that all she wanted for you was or, or she wanted was for you to eat her. Nah, it's part of her charm. Aside from that though, it's clear that you know my taste very well. Just looking out for you, that's all. Thanks for still. I should be the one thank you after you risk your life to make the ultimate sweet for me. It wasn't just for you. Now that I know that I can make it, we can start sharing it with everyone in town. Oh, you're sounding uncharacteristically charitable, Sai. All the effort it takes only to make it more expensive. The people have to be convinced by the free time force for it to work, and then when it does, we'll make a fortune. So that's your scheme, huh? I should have known. I don't think Butterscotch wants to make the trip with me a second time, so I'll need to find someone who's pretty good with magic to watch my back. Know anyone? Are you hiring me to become your magic bodyguard? I accept. And so Syrup and Pastille teamed up to gather more and more rare ingredients from dangerous places so that the Syrup was able to make all the sorts of luxurious specialty candies. Godrop diligently worked after the, the store while they went off together, thrilling adventures together. Syrup and Pastille had taught her well. Bella Scotch felt a little lonely with her rival away, but she was always happy to see Syrup return, each time with sweets even more delicious than last. Pastille end. Okay. I think I need to look up how to get out of endings. Your friends will come to your rescue if you aren't too cold to them. I, 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 I. For sure it's first act as a billionaire is to push Lego Station. Banning magic. Pray to alchemy. Oh wow. The ending's changing as well, so that's pretty cool. Hold up the, 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 the opening screen. I gotta look at how to do the other endings. Because I am bad at video games. And I don't actually remember the choices I've made so far because I am bad at video games. It all comes down to bad at being bad at video games. It's pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Uh, okay, uh, let's let's try this. Apparently, I have to be nice to my own gang. Do not eat. All right, we'll keep her. Well, it floats your boat. Take her home. Not for sale. Uh, oh no. Supervising gun drop. Uh, supervising gun drop. Why not? <laughs> okay, be mean to the other gang. She can deal. Or you can carry. Yeah, I hate you. I have nothing to say to you. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Was there any way out? Let's skip. They only seem to get cold and cold in that cabin. I need to reconcile the difference a bit. Hours passed and it came and it was becoming difficult to stay conscious, but just before the turret and drifted off to sleep. It heard some faint yet familiar voices just beyond the wall of ice. The trail ends here, a suspicious looking ice formation. Which means we found them, right? If they're behind this thing, it might take some time to break through. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Oh, I didn't realise you're... What happened? Sir, it was awoken. Has awoken, thank goodness. Glad to see you're still alive. Promise me you'll never go off and do something like this dangerous again. What? Well, how do you know where to find me? As soon as I was able to move again, I rushed straight home to Master Bastille to inform him of your mission with Butterscotch. I am so sorry I, couldn't, I could not keep the secret, but it was only because I was very worried you might end up frozen like I had been. I did not want that to happen to you. It's a good thing she was in a hurry too. We almost didn't find you two in time. I warned you about the witch. You should be more careful. Safe. 
What happens if that syrup is no longer un? What happen? What matters is that syrup is no longer unmoving. I can tell that you being very fr frozen is very uncomfortable. It's not as threatening for you though. So no matter how long you freeze for, you'll be fine when you thaw out again. Humans don't have that advantage. That is a very scary thought. Getting more syrup would have been very tough if she's not come back from being frozen. You're right. I'm really thankful you're in a hurry to get him. come get me. Good work, Gumdrop. Master Pastille is the one to thank, along with Miss Treat, for being so helpful. Please don't put Miss in front of my name. Hold on a second. I've got a question. What is it? Pretty sure that wall of ice would have taken way too long to break through normally, so how'd you do it? Oh, we managed somehow. Now you get some rest. We'll make you some soup, and once you're feeling up to it, we can head back, alright? Yeah, sure. Dot, dot. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. It's my fault we almost... I mean, if not for your friends. I still hate you. <laughs> I won't forgive you. You're still the worst for nearly letting the both of us die. Dot, 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 dot. Cough, cough. Syrup? Oh no, are you sick? Just let me sleep it off. The spiteful alchemist closed her eyes, becoming suddenly aware of her intense fever. Her skin felt hot, but there was a frigid emptiness in her crest. Perhaps the cold had frozen her heart. Soon, she fell into a deep slumber, never to awaken again. Worst end. <laughs> Load game. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I want to apologize to you for lashing out back there. I understand. I would have been mad at me too. You don't need to apologize for anything. I'm the one who messed up. Very well, yeah, well, it all happened out. It worked out in the end. Let's call it even and forget it ever happened, okay? Okay. As soon as Syrup felt up to it, everyone said goodbye to Treat and made their way home. But still heads back to the store on his own after Syrup decides to return Butterscotch to her cottage, followed by a very insistent gun drop. Toffee, I'm home. Our mission was success. Let's skip. Yeah, well, everything's had out. Oh, okay, don't worry about it. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Gunshot from waking outside. See ya. Welcome home. Considering everything at home, take it easy tonight. No can do, Pastille. There's a person I've risked my life. There's a reason I've risked my life today, and I'm gonna go see what, uh, what. To go see it to that special to gets made. Uh, Gundrop never told me what exactly you two were after, only that it was something important. It is Gunsirus present to you, Master Steel. Out of respect, I could not dare to ruin the surprise. Alright, alright, just remember to not push yourself too hard. Go to bed at a reasonable time. Then you give me a bedtime. Forget it. It doesn't matter. I think I know what it might be. I don't need to see it. Uh, hey, clear the game. Have you seen all the endings yet? No, I haven't. I don't know how to get the last one. Uh, it, Alright, if it's that important to save some lump of candy, I'll help you. Thank you. Hee hee, every bite I take is more and more delicious. Candy this good must be a sin. Miss Butterscotch, if you continue eating that leg soon, I will not be able to walk anymore. Hey. How rude. You didn't even wipe your feet before barging in here, yeah? Stuff it, cat. I'm taking my golem back. What? This thing was a gift. No take backs. Take backs? What are you? Free? This isn't the playground rules. I changed my mind about letting you keep this golem, so now we're leaving that. That's it. Syrup? There, you're all sticky. Sorry for laying that witch slobber all over you. Let's get on out of here. You know, I'd think you were pretty cool if it went on oh, the mean stuff you did to Master, yeah? Yeah, well, you guys damaged my stuff, so guess we're even later. Oh, I can't stand her. There was still so much left to eat. She can make her own candy. Why would she bully me like this? Maybe she was only wanted to taste of what uh, Maybe she only wanted a taste of that girl after your lips were on it. Indirect kisses, yeah. Uh, don't be gross, Toffee. Syrup took the candy girl back to her workshop and began replacing all the parts Butterscotch had eaten away. It wasn't long before she was back to mint condition. They decided to leave her hair as it was after Syrup had mentioned it looked kind of so cute. So go and start with blah 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 blah. Um. She 
syrup you wish to give me away once again? Well, these guys don't want to eat you, there's nothing, so there's nothing to feel bad about. Are you quite certain? We'd like to remind you that money is no object for us. Uh, let's... Leaving. And he even replaced all our parts, so it's so I can enjoy them all over again, right? Right? No, I don't want anyone eating again. It was kind of messed up. Huh? It's just candy. Listen, I'm not trading Gundrop for your stupid thing. Sir, have they returned to taste the new limbs you made for me? They're just buying some candy. I will not touch you. I, I do not like these customers. Oof, what's the pain in my chest? Hearing her say that kind of hurts somehow. Is that a curse? You need magic too? I think what you're feeling is guilt, yeah. Looks like she really didn't appreciate you eating it up before. Did you say that was on purpose as can- uh, that was your purpose as candy though? Only wants to be eaten by syrup. Oh god. <laughs> That's not fair. I'm sorry if I treated you kind of bad, but why does syrup get to eat you and I can't? I'm not eating her. She's just confused, I think. And now she's traumatized because of you two. So hurry up and buy something so you can leave. Just want to get rid of us, but hi, whatever. Da -da -da. Are you okay? She's not going to eat me, so I am fine. If she hurt you, it's okay to hurt her, you know. Sir, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? Even someone who did something like that hurt you? Why would you want that, unless you're taking orders from her? I do not understand it very well myself, but those are my feelings. So I don't give her such a hard time, she's working really hard. You're the only one who did that to her. Oh well. So cool. How am I supposed to face that witch after everything that happened? We agreed to forget about it, but that doesn't promise there won't be any awkwardness. Kinda wish that cat was here to take care of it for me. Meowie zowie, Candy Alchemist is requesting my services? I knew you'd come out if I talked to myself loud enough. Impressive. So, how long were you wandering around saying those lines in places you expect me to be? Yeah. It's not important. Can you do me this favor? Sure thing, but you have to do something in return, yeah? I'm already offering the ultimate sweet. What more could you want? Save. I want you to take me up to Mount Sorbet to thank that dog for saving Master. Going alone isn't an option for obvious reasons. Yeah. That's it. What a polite little familiar you turned out to be. Master's important to me, and I want to show my gratitude. Will you do it or not? Of course. Yeah, I'll help you out. Really? Thanks, Nia. I'll grab my Winnico and we can go right away. Da -da -da. That was unintentional. I'm become pun stumpable. Nia. I'm really regretting my decision. However, Toffee easily convinced Syrup to follow through with the deal after promising to remain silent until they reached Treat's house. I didn't expect you to return so soon. I wasn't planning on it, to be honest, but Toffee was here too. Uh, was here was too afraid to come alone, so... Oh yes, a cat like me shouldn't be bothered whatsoever coming to a place like this. You sure turned out to be the wrong person to ask for this favour. Yeah. It's giving you a hard time. Say your thing already. Are you her pet? I'm the witch's familiar. I just wanted to thank you for saving Master, but how could you think I belong to Syrup? I'm a little insulted. Yeah. The two of you seem like you get along. My mistake. Let me set the book record straight. This cat works for my rival. They're obnoxious dynamic duo set on sabotaging my business. It's what I would say if it weren't for a certain recent offence. Toffee's not bad, I don't think. Gee, whiskers. Such flattering praise. Anyway, now that I think my business is here is finished, it's time to head home. Thanks again. Yeah. You just got here. I won't let you leave without a warm drink for the road. Wait here. Da -da 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 -da. Are you nervous? She's a wolf. Of course, I'm nervous. She could eat me in a second, yeah. Hmm, it's funny to see you showing your true emotions. I didn't see what part of this is joking, yeah. Sorry, seeing you like this makes me want to bully you, but don't worry. If she does try to eat, which she won't, I'll stop her. Oh, no, just let it happen. I won't earn anyone to assume we're getting along. Are you that upset she got the wrong impression? Did I do that? Hey, would it really be that bad to be my pet? 
Absolutely. Ouch, what did I ever do to you? First off, I'm Master's pet and no one else's, so you didn't have the chance from the start. And even putting that aside, you don't know anything about me. I know that you're a cat that who lives with butterscotch and that you make puns all the time for attention. For attention? Perhaps I underestimated I underestimated you, Candy Alchemist, but answer this. Do you think I'm a boy or a girl? Yeah. Uh probably a trap. Yeah, it was a trick question. The correct answer is Neva. Huh. I just always assumed. Well, guess it's actually more fitting for you anyway. But thanks for telling me. Now you can't say I don't know anything about you. Yeah, I wouldn't have given you the answer so easily. You're sneaky, Candy Alchemist. Now I have one more question for you, Nia. You see, I noticed something. You don't seem very close to anyone in particular. In particular. But now you're showing an unusual amount of interest in me. Are you pulling my tail here? Or actually trying to become my friend? Who knows? I just thought maybe having a cat would be nice. Never expected to hear something like that from you. So adjusting my eyes you recently, how do you feel about the new me? I don't like it at all. You're not as predictable now. Yeah. Here, it's milk. My favourite. How thoughtful, Nia. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, you seem to have calmed down a bit. That's good. Turns out they all needed that was they needed all they needed was for me to pet them for a while. You had the wrong idea, yeah. And so, Syrup and Toffee started spending a lot of time together, and Toffee began calling themselves a part-time pet. What the hell? <laughs> Butterscotch and <laughs> what? <laughs> Life at Atelier Suites continued on as normal, except for the addition of a store cat. Butterscotch never quite got over the jealousy of her pet getting stolen away, but under that, they all lived happily ever after. Toffee and yeah. Sounds like a lot of effort. I second thought I was just going to go ahead and take the Sparrow Scotch in person. You'd have to ask her to take you to the treats house instead. Oh, so you're scared of the place now, aren't you? Alright, I understand. One we'll picture you like, yeah. Leave whatever you want. Now we're going to see your house, or what? So you want me to escort you somewhere now? But considering what you're delivering, I can't refuse, yeah. It's about Scotch and Dick. I want to figure out something. Aha! Neva! I got the option now. Yeah, how did you? Who told you? Are you a time traveller? Maybe I just pay more attention to you than you give me credit for. Is that hard to imagine? Yes, this is all a little abrupt. Yeah, I can't tell if you're pulling my tail here. You actually become my friend. Who knows? I just thought maybe having a cat would be nice. We did it! We got all the endings, I think. Yeah! Yeah. Syrup, disinterested in the people around her, put all her energy into capitalism. Now she's super rich. Gondrop end. Syrup and Gondrop travel the world together and strengthen their bond. Lesson three. Pastel end. Syrup and Pastel go on adventures together to make legendary candies. Butterscotch end. Syrup teaches Butterscotch how to make candy, and it's oh so sweet. Toffee end. Syrup adopts Toffee as her pet. Yeah. Cannibal. Candibal end. You ate her. I can't believe you actually ate her. <laughs> Frozen end. Butterscotch couldn't melt ice. No one came to save you. Bad end one. Syrup had to run the store by herself and failed horribly. Bad end two. Toffee and Butterscotch took over the Atelier Suites. Worst end. Syrup's heart completely froze over. How could you be so cruel? Did it! Um... Yeah, but cool. I enjoy happy games. Happy games are happy. And so it's like, yeah. Yeah. Then I have to go back to Enroll. Oh, God. It's a big contrast, isn't it? Probably going to play all the Nom Nom Nami games. They're all super gay. Hehe. <laughs> no, that's a bad thing. You know, gay is cool. Yeah. Well, see you then. Bye 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 bye.